a precise income and expense plan with expected source and sector respectively sounds ideal to all. What if you get to change and decide a specific amount to every expense category so that the end balance remains zero? Hello there, this is Pariha Tulmi from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forum, templates and VBA related answers. On a blank worksheet, we will learn how to create a zero-based budget in Excel. We will discuss that in 7 steps using Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. First, we need to create an outline. Here we can see in cell B2 to E2, we have our title creating zero-based budget. Now, in B4, let's type income, category, tab, expected, actual, finally, difference. Enter. Now, click on B4 and drag the selection till E9. Now, from the home tab under the font group, click on the borders drop down. Choose all borders. Now for B5 to E5 from the font group, choose fill color as blue accent 5, make them bold and use font size to 12. Now from the alignment group, let's center align them. As for B4 to E4, the entire table is about income. So let's use Merge and Center from the Alignment group and increase its font size to 12. Use the same fill color and make it bold as well. Now let's underline Income as this is our title of this box. Now in B6, let's type our category. Our first category is Salary, then Business Profit. Interest. Finally, total income, where we will add all of the values from here. Let's make that bold and font size 12. Now, in the expected column of this category, we will add the income amounts. Now, we have copied the values from a dummy sheet. You can use your corresponding values here. We have copied it using Ctrl C and we are pasting it here using Ctrl V. There we are. Now for the total income, we can use some function to add all of them or we can just use alt equal to auto sum these three values. Now let's add our table for expenses. For that, the format will be almost similar. So let's select B4 to E9. Use Ctrl C to copy and click on B11 to paste it using Ctrl V. Now let's use Escape button and here select row 13 to 15, copy them, right clicking on the row, copy and select row 16 to right click and select insert copied cells from the context menu. Let's use Escape button and here let's insert another row. There we are. Now we can delete these values since these are from the income table. Now the changes here will be income will be expense whereas expected will be changed into budgeted. Now as we did for our income table, we can copy the category and budgeted expenses from a dummy sheet as well. We have copied that using Ctrl C. Let's paste it here using Ctrl V. Now we can see as the formula comes from here, total income formula also generates from here. So the formula needs to be changed. Here, the array will be from C13 to C19. You can edit that or you can use AutoSum feature on C20. One more time, let's make this total income row bold 
so that it's easier for us to understand the total amounts. Now in D22 for final balance, let's copy it using Ctrl C and paste it here in B22. Here let's type final balance and these values will be double underlined from the font group clicking on the drop down below underline. As we discussed before, our final balance needs to be total income minus total expense. Let's edit this part to total expense and for final balance the formula will be equals total income or C9 minus total expense or C20. Now we can see that the final balance is negative 100. So it means that our expense is higher than our income. Let's make adjustment to make zero since that's the target of our zero based budget. Here let's make restaurant expense as $550 and personal expense as $800. Now we can see that final balance is zero. Now if we add the actual values for income and expenses, let's type them from the dummy value as well using control V by pasting it here. As for expenses, control V here as well. Now for the total income for actual, let's use fill handle to drag the formula till D9, repeat the process for D20 as well. As for final balance, we can see that final balance is zero for actual cases. Now let's calculate the differences. Here let's select E6 to E8, press Ctrl to select E13 to E19 as well. And let's try a formula equals since the selection is within E13, let's use information within 13th row D13, which is the actual minus C13. As for expense, actual minus budgeted, income will also be actual minus expected. Use control enter so that all the cells are added with the same formula. Now, if we use fill handle here again, for both income and expenses. In the final budget, we can see that difference is also zero. So now we can say that we have successfully created a zero based budget. Now, as our final outputs are here, we can use that as a template. Now we can remove these dummy values using delete key like that. Now you can easily use the template where all the formulas are added according to the requirement. Using this elaborate steps, you can also create a zero based budget in Excel. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you could do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. You can visit our website exceldemy.com and reach out to our forum for all your VBA or Excel related problems free of cost. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.